starting in 2016, Miami Beach became one of the hardest places in America to book a short-term vacation rental. Thanks to laws enacted over the past two years, the city now levies fines as high as $100,000 on property owners with illegal rentals, with future plans to directly target platforms such as Airbnb. But according to a new lawsuit, not all property owners are being treated equally. A complaint from real estate agent Greg Mermelli accuses the city of having a confidential agreement with German multimillionaire Christian Yegajinski, who owns a luxury vacation rental company called Vilazo. Mermelli's attorney, Alexander Orlovska, says the city has refused to comply with public records requests, which has only sharpened his questions about why Vilazo is allowed to rent out villas on Palm Island, where short-term rentals are banned under city rules. Why are they letting him rent out these properties on Palm Island, Orlovska says. If he can do it, why can't other residents, both Vilazo and the city declined to comment for this story. Vilazo has rented out vacation homes in Miami Beach since 2002. The company's website advertises luxury villas and mansions along Biscayne Bay with amenities like home theaters, marble floors, and infinity pools. Court records show V. Lazo filed two suits against Miami Beach in 2007 and 2009, challenging the city's ban on short-term rentals and contesting fines issued against the company. In 2014, Vilazo's attorney asked the city to sign a standstill agreement to waive code enforcement fines against the company in exchange for Vilazo dropping the suit. According to a document dated January 15, 2015, the city's attorney declined to sign the agreement for political reasons but essentially made a gentleman's agreement not to lodge new violations against the company as long as no formal complaints were made about the properties. The document doesn't specify how far into the future that agreement was meant to last. But city records show Vilazo hasn't been fined for violating the short-term rental ban, even though the company's website clearly advertises such rentals, including a mansion the firm owns at 10 Palm Avenue. A seven-bedroom waterfront villa valued at $11.6 million. The company's website likens their properties to a private hotel that can be rented out by the night or week. But city maps clearly show that no homes on Palm Island can be legally rented out for less than six months at a time. Mermelli says that makes it clear Vilazo is allowed to break the rules. In his new lawsuit, he suggests the German mogul has special privileges with City Hall. Asked about the allegations by New Times, city spokeswoman Melissa Berthier would not directly answer if Vilazo was legally allowed to rent out its Palm Island property by the night. At this point in time, the city of Miami Beach is unable to provide a response based upon the allegations set forth in the lawsuit, she said in an email. The rest of Mermelli's complaint challenges the city's short-term rental ordinance as a whole. Mermelli, who owns a waterfront property on the Sunset Islands, claims to have lost $7.65 million in potential rental income since 2010. Records show he was fined $25,000 for violating the short-term rental ban last April. We don't want to violate the law, but if the law isn't being enforced against certain people, the law isn't fair, says Orlovska, his attorney. As of this week, the city had not yet been formally served with his lawsuit. In an email to New Times, Miami Beach Chief Deputy City Attorney Alexander Boxner called the New allegations, devoid of any legal merit, the alleged lawsuit is a futile endeavor, which was inappropriately initiated, in order to excuse the unlawful commercial conduct of the plaintiff, Boxner wrote.